Hey everyone, I'm your host Jibo, and this is Egypt's Child Part 23. From Feist on the left, to Feruza Balk on the right, these hand signs are never ending. So when you see Feruza with Adam Sandler, a man who's done all of this, well, it should make you wonder why Adam was with Drew Barrymore, a person who shows the same hand sign of Osiris as him. Could it relate to why Drew wears a butterfly necklace? In the movie Click, Adam Sandler played a role alongside actors Kate Beckinsale and Christopher Walken, who, as you can see on the left, are no different to showing the same hand signs. Neither is Jennifer Aniston, who Adam can be seen with. If this wasn't enough to have you questioning what you're already seeing, then seeing Jennifer Aniston with a butterfly on her should speak for itself. I mean, come on. Both Drew and Jennifer show the same butterfly. Could this boy Queen Latifah, who Adam was also pictured with, has two tattoos of him? Adam has this movie here to the left with actor Jack Nicholson, a man you can see doing a Masonic hand sign to the right. In the same movie, Woody Harrelson played a role, and as you can see, he dressed up as a woman. Wait, Adam Sandler did the same in the movie I had just shown. Let me elaborate on what this means. Simply put, it's duality. The divine feminine and the divine masculine. This is why we also see the hand sign of Osiris. The X represents just like dark and light, male and female. And if you don't believe me, then seeing Chris Rock with Adam, who dressed up as a woman as well, I mean, come on, there you have it. But let's move on with more information. Adam can be seen here with Lakeith Stanfield, a man who I've shown for all of what you're about to see, from the wings on his neck to the one eye. It should already be clear that this symbolism is intentional. So when you see the ankh on his finger, and the other Egyptian tattoo on his arm, which represents the sun, well, the Masonic tattoo on his hand, right beneath the ankh on his finger, should really speak for itself. A lot of this goes back to Aleister Crawley, a man who I've covered numerous times for all of what he was associated with. One thing that's really important though about Aleister, and the main reason why I'm bringing him up, is he wrote this book here called The Book of Lies, otherwise known as Liber 333. The 333 is extremely important because Lakeith Stanfield has 333 tattooed on him. Not only that, but he also has 322, which represents skull and bones, the X I had just mentioned. Huh, right? Staying on track though, to the left of this tattoo that I've been showing, you can see more Egyptian symbols, but on his hand to the right, you can see what appears to be something associated to Freemasonry. The closest relation I can show is the Shriners, which not only shows the same crescent moon, but also blatant Egyptian symbolism. So seeing this, finding out the Keith wore a dress, well, yeah. Everything always goes back to Egypt. And you're seeing it. So let me wrap this up real quick. From Seth Rogen to Jonah Hill. From Selena Gomez to Eric Bana. All the way to Liv Tyler. The association between Adam and these celebrities truly speaks volumes as to what this all is. So when you see Adam in this picture here, with five other celebrities I'm about to show, well, yeah. From Jamie Foxx to Adam Driver, from Tom Hanks to Robert De Niro, all the way to finally Shia LaBeouf, who not only shows the same symbolism, but also just like Drew Barrymore, Queen Latifah, and Jennifer Aniston, he could be seen showing symbolism of the butterfly, which would make him dressing up as a girl, just like Adam who he's pictured with, much more obvious as to what this all is. If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. <laughs>